Hey, it's Avi Cat, and today I'll judge your personality by your favorite Final Fantasy XIV character. Make sure to take everything I say very seriously. This is not a joke video, this is personal. It's my sole intention to tell you the unfiltered truth and make you hurt in sight. Also, there will be some light spoilers because I'll include some of the characters from the later expansions. Don't say I didn't warn you, this is your own risk to take. So let's start. Starting with Alphano. If Alphano is your favorite character, you're probably the most basic person in your friends group but that's not a bad thing like, like you good kind of basic vanilla ice cream kind of basic everyone loves vanilla just like alfano and vanilla ice cream you get along well with other flavors and other people you're generally very social but there are sometimes you get very self-conscious you might feel like sometimes you're annoying your friends or the people around you and yes, you do. You actually do. You're very annoying. But people will look past that because they know you're a really nice person who has great intentions. You care about those people around you and you are a very loving person, even though you are not that good at showing that to other people. If your favorite character is Alize, then you are the most predictable, reckless, irresponsible, and always trying to be the loudest in the room. At least you're fun to be around. I have to say, all of these things I just said are very samurai main characteristics, but you might also be a red mage just because she is one if you have siblings you're the youngest one and you believe you're the coolest one as well and you are but your siblings don't like you that much you are that person the whole family is concerned about you're the fun cousin you wake up in the morning and make it everyone's problem including yourself the next one we have in line is Tancred. but before that can we just talk about how this man got 50 times hotter when his life fell apart i don't understand what's the secret recipe trauma i won't say you might have daddy issues if Tancred is your favorite favorite character, but you might have daddy issues if Tanker is your favorite character. You're a hopeless romantic and you just want someone to take care of you, don't you? That's kind of cute, actually. I also have this feeling you really like Dante from Devil May Cry series. Just a hunch. If Ishtola is your favorite character, you are either the mom of the group or the one who needs the most supervision. Either you always speak your mind, you don't care about what other people think about you, you do your own thing, or you're just horny. There's no in-between. Most people are just horny, there's nothing to be ashamed of. She's very mummy. But you also like to chase after things you can't have. I don't know, it's just something about your personality. You like that rejection, little son, don't you? If you Rianja is your favorite, you probably fantasize about Shakespeare in a tiny dress laying down on the couch and reading you one of his plays in a very sultry tone. This man did so much for this story and I'm still not interested. There are so many other great characters. How is he your favorite? It's just boring. If Ida is your favorite, you still haven't finished Heaven's Ward yet. In that case, you're about to get spoiled. If Lise is your favorite, you like simple things. You're easily satisfied by anything you don't question things either that or you think they did her so dirty with that writing and i agree she deserved way better if estinian is your favorite your taste in men haven't changed since you hit puberty you probably find a scene from the heavens Ward trailer very sexual and you have commitment issues if papalimo is your favorite you have a great memory and you have a tendency to cling to the past if Minfilia is your favorite, you think salt is spicy. Very return to the Vulcan sense. If Tataru is your favorite, you either commit tax fraud or you would be okay to do it. You're one of those people who look like a cinnamon roll but will kill you. You are a danger to the society and I love you. Seriously, you are the life of the party. There is no way someone can hate you. It's just not possible. If Ratia is your favorite, you're one of those people who claim they're a cat person but actually they're a dog person. This man might be part cat but he's got that golden retriever energy. You're favorite trope is friends to lovers and you read a lot or at least you used to read a lot you have so many books in your bookshelf that you never touch you claim you don't have enough time but you're actually playing video games shame on you me too if mom Brida is your favorite you had a crush on your childhood friend and you're still thinking about them sometimes if Kryle is your favorite you are probably a big lore nerd you love talking about the lore once you start there is no way you'll shut up and honestly i'll listen to you you probably have the best theories if your favorite character is kanisana you love the lord of the rings you also also always play a druid in every DD campaign. If your favorite is Meryl Vip. Meryl. The big lady. 
You like big ladies. If your favorite is an animal, you love cute things and you probably have lots of plushies. If your favorite is Raban, you are correct. End of the discussion. If your favorite is Sir Imerick, my beloved, there's a high chance you are a straight woman. You might also have something for British accents. His voice just melts you, dude. It's unfair. Your warrior flight will immediately quit adventuring and stay with him if you ask. What? The world is ending? You need my help? Heck no, I'm in my pretty boy castle with my pretty boyfriend. If Harshafan is your favorite character, I'm sorry. I'm very deeply sorry. I'm my condolences. You are a sweetie and a good friend just like he was. If your favorite character is Sid, you just love when people do things for you so you don't have to, you're a pillow princess. Not in the bed maybe, but in your daily life. It's just your lifestyle. If your favorite character is Yotsuyu, you support women's wrongs. You just don't see any. Do you want revenge on her behalf? Yes. Are you correct? Absolutely. You also wish we could have that dress and smoke emote for the playable characters. I really want my character to wear that dress, God damn it! Just give it to us. I don't even mind mind if it's undiable at this point. I just wanna wear it. If Asahi is your favorite character, I want you on a watch list and not near any of my friends. I'm pretty sure you have a criminal background. If Fordola is your favorite character, you are in your feral girl era. If Gosetsu is your favorite character, you are an interesting person. Let's be friends, you have great taste. If Zenos is your favorite character, hmm... We're getting into a spicy territory, aren't we? So you're attracted to villains, you've always been. My question is... Why? Why is this such a pattern? You really love enemies to lovers kind of stuff, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I know. It's fine. It's just hard for you to conceptualize the fact someone can love you for who you are. So someone who cannot love anything falling in love with you means there's something special about you. It makes your position pretty much locked in and you feel good about it. It makes you feel secure. It also makes me feel like giving you a hug. Either that or you just like them thick. Which is a really valid reason, to be honest. If your favorite character is Ryan, your parents are happily married. If your favorite character is Meteon, your parents are married but not happy. If your favorite character is Gaia, your parents are so divorced. If your favorite character is Fortunal, he's not actually your favorite character, you're just thirsting for old men. You know he's old and has terrible personality, it's just he's hot and you can't get over it. If your favorite character is Serena, you're super smart, humble, generous, funny, loving to every single soul around you, amazing personality. If your favorite character is Saru Hatun, you never show up to a party empty-handed and you never leave the party without a good fight. If your favorite character is Lord Hien, you're one of the few people who still remember him. If your favorite character is Yugiri, you always like the quiet types because you are a quiet type. Okay, this is my last warning because we are about to get into that heavy end walker territory. I'm sorry if there was another way to include these characters without spoiling the story. I would, but here we are. I'll give you a few seconds to click away if you don't want to get spoiled. And the time is up. If your favorite character is Venats, you are a very sensitive person, but you're also very logical. Whatever you do, you do it for the people you love and care about, and that's why you relate to her. During that one scene when she was walking covered in black goo, you were probably crying your eyes out. It felt so personal to you, and you could feel everything she was feeling. You could feel her pain, probably because you had to make a hard decision kind of like hers in the past. Also, can we just agree her song was kind of a banger? If your favorite character is Hitlodeus, <clears throat> hello, LG. LGBTQ community. I probably butchered his name. I know, I'm sorry. Correct me. I know I'm wrong. First of all, your favorite color is probably purple and I absolutely agree with this decision. You're a very artistic person. You probably are an artist or used to draw in the past. Because whenever I go to my Twitter, I see some art of him. It's like every artist is obsessed with him. If your favorite character is Hermes, you have great vibes but terrible mental health. It's been eight weeks since you cleaned up your depression room. Please go clean up. You know I had to leave my own personal favorite for the last. I'm sorry, but I can't support a character who slaughters innocents because of their own personal tragedy. Oh, really? What is this then? An exception. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume you like to fix broken things. But the real challenge is if you can make them worse. And it's a challenge I'll happily accept. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I probably missed more than just a few characters, so comment down below which one's your favorite and why you like them so much. I might eventually make a part 2 of this, though I'm not gonna promise. There are just so many characters. I hope you enjoyed this very serious video. This is a personal attack, so don't forget to get offended and I'll see you in my next video. Stay cozy!